Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I think I can fairly say I am a professional hustler. I have hustled over $94,000 since starting the $1,000 project. That is seriously impressive and I'm proud of myself. So for this video, I'm actually sharing with you 25 really different, really fun, really creative and really easy things that you can do to hustle up some extra cash in your life. And these ideas, even involve not getting off the sofa. Not all of them, but some of them. I also have a really good giveaway. For whoever wins this competition, I'll be sharing the details of how to enter at the end of this video. The person who comes first will win a free Skype consultation with me, which goes for 40 to 60 minutes and is worth $240. And then the two runners up will receive a signed copy of my book, The Thousand Dollar Project, along with a handwritten note. And you will also receive Effie Zahos's Guide to Money, The Real Girl's Guide to Money, which takes you through all the different stages of your life and shows you what to do with your money so that you are completely in charge and making great financial decisions. All right, let's waste no time at all. You need to hear these 25 different ideas immediately. Idea number one, and that is to register with an agency and become an extra. You could be on commercials, you could be on TV shows, you could even be in a movie. You may even meet some amazing celebrities along the way and you get paid while doing it. Idea number two is to open up a store online through websites like Etsy. If you are really creative from making candles to kids costumes to clothing to jewelry, it's incredible what you can sell online. And Etsy is a fantastic platform to sell your arts and crafts and make some good cash along the way. And you never know who may end up buying your products and where you might end up seeing those products. Idea number three is to flip items and sell them. Now, I know so many people through following them on social media who will go and find, buy, collect pieces of furniture, clothing, homewares, do them up, give them a new lease on life and then sell them for an amazing profit. In particular, clothing. They will go to op shops, markets, find designer clothing and accessories, do them up, get them back in good condition, style them and then sell them on their own social media platforms. And they are making a really nice fat profit along the way. Idea number four is to become a home care hero. Did you know that you can actually get paid to go and visit people in their home that are feeling lonely, maybe not very well, maybe housebound, and actually just spend some time hanging out with them, have a conversation with them, maybe help them out around the house, make them a meal, a cup of tea, but just simply spend time with them, bonding with them, connecting to them, listening to their stories and sharing experiences with them. You get paid by the hour and it's a fantastic way to get more out of life and be a bigger part of your community. Idea number five is to look after people's pets, look after their dogs, their birds, their fish, their cats whilst they're away. And this is something you can do in their home or even in your own home. And if you have a pet already, sometimes it's a really nice way of keeping your own animals company. Idea number six is tutoring. And this is one of these ideas of ways you could make money without even getting off the sofa. You can actually offer online tutoring through Skype. And that can be from something like reading and writing skills to maths to even something like another language. And found for you an amazing website that specializes in teaching languages through Skype, where they will actually hook you up with students who are eager and willing to learn so that you can start making some quick money fast through your new side hustle. Idea number seven is to rent your home out to location agents. Location agents are always looking for different and interesting homes that they can use for ads, they can use for TV shows, for films and movies. And you can make between $800 up to $2,000 a day. Now your home doesn't need to be particularly big or beautiful, it doesn't really matter. They want a whole range of different homes for different themes and different types of movies and videos. So this can be a really great idea to earn some extra money that doesn't actually involve that much effort from you. Idea number eight is to sell your writing skills. If you are someone who really enjoys sitting down at your laptop, typing away, writing short stories or writing blogs, you can actually sell those. You be can become a copywriter where you will write blog posts, articles, ads, even emails, and you get paid to do it. Another great job that you can do from the comfort of your own sofa. Idea number nine is to test products and services in your own home. 
websites such as Home Tester Club will actually send you a whole pile of products, get you to test them out in your own home, and give them the feedback on what you thought of that product before it gets launched to the market. Not only do you get free products, but you also get paid at the same time. And this is another side hustle that you can earn some extra cash without even having to walk out the front door. Idea number 10 is to earn commission off your own online shopping. Now, I personally have joined Cash Rewards, who have proudly sponsored and collaborated with me on this video. But essentially, you do all your shopping as you normally would. You just go through the Cash Rewards website first. Now, when it came to upgrading my fridge, um, doing my weekly Woolworths shop, I'm picking up commission on my own shopping. So I don't actually have to do anything extra to earn that money. And the money is deposited into my account after a certain period of time to make sure nothing is actually returned. Now, I've even set myself up a mini challenge through Cash Rewards where I'm going to see how long it takes for me to earn over $1,000 through using Cash Rewards, collecting my own commission on my own shopping. And of course, that money will go towards round four of the $1,000 project. Again, another idea where you earn money without even getting out of bed. And in fact, you can actually do your cash rewards shopping through your phone. So make sure you download the cash rewards app. And of course, definitely make sure your notification button is switched on because they have amazing bonus offers where you get like double commission or bigger and better discounts. That's the best time to really make the most of this. Idea number 11 is to do virtual work. If you're at home looking after kids, you can sometimes work when they're having their afternoon naps or when they're asleep at night. You can do things like translations, you can do things like dictation, you can do proofreading, you can do data entry. If you've got some bookkeeping skills, you might even be able to do this. And you can do that all off a laptop, sitting in bed or sitting on the sofa or working off the dining table. And it can pay quite well. Idea number 12 is to register with market research companies. Now I have done so much of this and you guys are always asking me, where do I pick up this work from? So I've actually already done a list for you guys, which is on the Sugar Mama Facebook page. I have linked it in the video description box below. So all you need to do is click on it and I have listed all the favorite companies that I really like that I'm registered with, where I get paid great market research work. I get to do really good jobs and they either pay me cash on the spot or they deposit it into my bank account within the next couple of days. I actually did some market research the other day for the thousand dollar project and I got paid $250 cash and it was actually so much fun. Idea number 13 is to create your own e-course. Now I found a brilliant website again which will be linked in the video description box below that shows you how to create an e-course but more importantly how to market and how to sell it. Now if you have a particular knowledge or skill and you think you can turn it into an e-course and it'll be of value to other people you should definitely get it out there. I actually personally know quite a few people who have these amazing range of e-courses that they sell. And it has been so successful that it's actually become their full-time job and they are seriously printing money. It's unbelievable. Because if you think about it, an e-course can be done anywhere in the world. So it's really scalable and there isn't that much work involved once you've actually built the course. Idea number 14 is to allow people to pick your brain if you're a little bit of a know-it-all. Say for example, you specialize in a certain field such as like a particular area in veterinary science or mechanics or IT or say for example, family law or criminal law. You can actually register your services with websites such as Just Answer, where people will pay to just ask you simple questions, pick your brain and get your opinion or get your professional ideas about that particular subject. So it's a really great way to earn some extra money, again, from the privacy and comfort of your own home and also in the hours that suit you. Idea number 15 is again more about sharing your opinions and your thoughts. So there's a website called Slice the Pie, and this is where you get to listen to upcoming artists and musicians and give your feedback as to what you think about their material and what they've created. And these brands are really interested in hearing what you think about them. And they then decide whether they're going to proceed with giving them record deals or launching them. But it's a really great way to actually get paid for your opinions. Idea number 16 is very much created and connected to the music and artistic industry. Websites such as Music X-Ray, Blue Mountain Artwork, Oatmeal Studios 
are always looking for people who are great singers, songwriters, poets, people who are great at writing jingles and themes, and then being able to match them up with brands that are desperately looking for people and services that can create content for them. And again, you get paid if you actually get commissioned for the work. Idea number 17 is to sell your expert IT knowledge. If you're someone who is really good at fixing IT problems with appliances and gadgets, there are people out there like myself who are willing to pay people to help them quickly, efficiently, and easily fix their stuff from mobile phones, from televisions, to modems, to um, laptops, to desktops, um, you name it. People sometimes need help and need help urgently and they're willing to pay it. So by listing your services a little bit like Airtasker, you can help people around the world remotely through things like Skype and phone calls and FaceTime and get paid at the same time. And again, another job or side hustle that you can create for yourself around your own flexible working hours and from the privacy of your own home. Idea number 18, and that is to become a social media ambassador. There are brands who are willing to pay people, authentic, genuine people, to help create more brand awareness of their products and services. Now, you don't necessarily need to have a celebrity status following, but you do need to have a good engagement. And of course, you always need to disclose that something's sponsored or an ad. But if you have a great following and you can really see your passions and your interest and there's a brand that aligns with you, there could be some fantastic money earning opportunities. Now, again, I have linked in the video description box below two fantastic websites that are worth checking out and registering with. Idea number 19, and this is great for people like myself who are a bit of a minimalist, and that is to help other people in your local community downsize, minimize and declutter their stuff. You could get paid by the hour to actually help them work out what they need to throw out, what they need to sell, what they need to donate, how to just live a more simplistic, easygoing lifestyle through minimalism. And if you're lucky and help them sell those items, you might even get a cut of those profits. Idea number 20, I didn't actually believe myself because it sounded too good to be true, but it's called credit card protection. And I found that Kohl's offer this as part of their credit card. Now, by no means am I necessarily recommending Coles credit cards, but I'm just letting you know about this benefit so you can maybe find out what other credit card providers offer this as well. But essentially, it protects you from when things go on sale. So say, for example, you buy a dress for, say, $200. And then a couple of months later, you discover that dress is now on sale and it's now down to $120. Now, under this credit card protection, you would notify the Coles credit card people, um, send evidence of what you paid for it and what it's now reduced to, and they will refund you the difference. It gets credited back to your credit card and can add up over time. Idea 21, and that is to rent your spaces out. You could rent your garage, you could rent your storage, you could even rent your driveway. You could do it per day, per week, per month. But it's a great way of pocketing some extra cash and again, something that doesn't really involve that much effort. Idea number 22 came from another subscriber and unfortunately this isn't actually available in Australia yet, but I'm hoping it will be soon. And that is called Become a Job Spotter. So what happens if you're, say, walking down the street and you see in the window of a shop that they're looking for a new sales assistant or a kitchen's looking for a new waiter or chef, you simply take a photograph of the ad and you op upload it to the Job Spotter website and they will pay you for that. It's a great way of reducing unemployment and getting more people in working jobs so that they can have their own side hustles and also do the $1,000 project. Idea number 23 is called DoorDash. And again, unfortunately, this isn't one that's available in Australia yet. Um, however, it's a really great idea. I don't know why people haven't thought about this sooner, but you get paid to run errands for people and you can obviously time it in with your own lifestyle and where you've got to be that day. So say for example, you've got to go up to your local um, supermarket. You might log on to DoorDash and see that someone urgently needs something from the same supermarket that you're going to or you know right next door to the supermarket needs something collected or picked up. You could become almost your own private career service and go and run those person's errands for them. So if you're out and about you know doing your own life admin this is a great way of picking up some extra cash and being paid all at the same time.
Idea number 24 is to become a mobile hair and makeup specialist. Using websites such as Glamazon, where you get paid to go to people's homes and offices and do their hair and makeup. You may also like to give them a spray tan and maybe do their nails. But you get paid to help make them ready for a fantastic day or night ahead. It's a great creative skill and a great way to meet new people and potentially pick up a handful of regular clients that give you a new steady flow of side hustle income. Idea number 25, which is the very last idea, and that is to sell images that you've already captured where you've caught beautiful amazing moments and perfected the image to websites such as Shutterstock and Phobe. Now you never know when you do this a brand may come across your incredible photography skills and end up commissioning you for a whole pile of other work but my point is you've got to be in it to win it. Now this then leads me on to the details of how to win the competition where you get a Skype consultation with me where you get to pick my own financial brain and you also go in the draw to be one of the two runners up who get a copy of those two books both signed by myself and Effie. Now what I would like you to do is let me know what your side hustle is and what the financial goal that you are working towards. I want you to put a comment in the comment box below but you must be subscribed to my channel. Now remember this giveaway is really quite valuable. A session with me is worth $242 and you get to pick my brain for 40 to 60 minutes. Plus the two runners up will be walking away with $60 worth of books each signed by myself and Effie. So if you want to enter this competition make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you share with me what your side hustle is for earning money and also what your biggest financial goal is. Now I really hope everyone has enjoyed this video. If I have missed some side hustles please let me know and also know that in my upcoming book Mindful Money I have even more side hustle tips and tricks to share with you when the list is even longer and better. So don't worry there are more side hustle ideas and inspiration coming your way in my next book. Alright everyone ciao for now and good luck with the competition.